What's up, man? Uh, this is a hole that we dug, but it is fucking cloudy and I can't see shit. So there's that. Oh yeah, we got gold out of that little side bank there. I need to come back in the summer and hit that though. Um, let's see, we test pan this. We test pan this. This showed promise and then petered out. I test pan that not so much. I do need to come back and look at this. Uh, I walked over here. Can't get there because it's too damn deep and I'm not trying to get myself wet. Um, I did test pan that, nothing initially. Um, I did test pan that and I got one speck. And I went back there, you can see there's a natural waterfall down there, but it's kind of flooded right now. Um, the line of thought here is, is that the water flow coming through here is moving too fast for any major collection. If there is any collection, it is deep down in these crevices, which if I had a suction dread, I would be in heaven right now. There's that, that, and that. There's the curve. This is what the creek looks like straight on. Uh, we have a bend down to the left at the far end. Uh, we have a tributary here. I've panned that, and there was nothing in it. Uh, the gravel bank sitting straight uh, about, I don't know, um, about 50 yards down from that, Pan test that, not so much. It's very, very difficult dirt to dig. Uh, it's all compact, can't get a shovel in there. And if you do, you're probably getting maybe a cup of dirt to run. It's just not worth the energy. Um, I should really test that root system that's hanging there on the edge. Uh, next time I do come back, though, I need to walk this down because there, we are close to Lake Altoona. We're probably maybe an eighth of a mile on the trail before we hit the mouth. Um, so if we've got gold collection points here, it's only logical to think that we should have larger collection points down there. Um, the gold that we got today... I've got pictures of, make sure I take a look at that, because this time last year is how long it took for it to accumulate. We still did not hit bottom. Um, I hit a weird clay layer, though, so I'm going to assume that's a decomp uh, layer of some sort. I'll need to look into that. We came out here from the side to here. Um, let's see, that. There's your depth. It's not bad. Not bad at all. What is that? Not? Huh? A couple feet. Um, stone was overturned when we got here. Although I can't see any tailings uh, piles that were here when we got. Like I'm not going. To, I first assumed that somebody is actually prospecting that hole um, after overturning the rock. But again, I don't see any tailings pile. It is natural to have a tailings pile in an area that is deeper than your pan. Hence why to the right of that, I was there. I did not see anything here or right into here, which is where I would have done it if, if that were the case. Um, other notes. Let's see. We have the erosion of the bank. You'll notice that we get a clay layer here at the end. Um, and then we have this rooted tree system here. I never got to test pan that, but I do need to do that at some point. Maybe we'll send Matt back to do that. Um, he needs to check the riffles, make sure to notate that uh, he, every time he comes back, he needs to see the uh, accumulation levels and so that we can gauge how long it took for it to fill back up. Uh, outside of that, this is a gradual incline, um, but again, the gravel's too much, too hard for me to do anything, so... Uh, Hanks Woods, we're kind of alone. We had somebody walk by earlier. Well, two people walked by. I don't think that they saw us, though. That doesn't really matter. But make sure to come here only on the weekends. Um, or no, during weekdays, if possible. Weekends, last resort. Uh, that way everyone's at work. All right. Let's actually make sure the whole... Oh, I almost fell. Yeah, I still can't see down in there, but that's all right. It is what it is.
here, but some fucking asshole went into the bank. You're only supposed to go from here to here. That's it. So the water would have naturally ran in here. Somebody dug up in there like a fucking asshole. So I've dug right in here. Test pan this, not that. Just specs. The pan. Checked in here, nice little crevices. They'll need to be worked. Somebody was here. Down in here. And this is the bend. You can't go past this. This is the other side. Stuff would have been nice to check. Let's go on top. No one's ever done that. We're going to do that next. See what that looks like. So there's the bend. It cuts around. Cut straight down. came in down here on the left, kind of where that first deep end is. Uh, this place is very secluded. Definitely no one here. Thank God for water. Um, as you can see, there are bedrock outcroppings everywhere. Although, I am crazy excited. Uh, I've spent, I haven't even gone upstream yet. I've been here so long. Uh, found a nice bedrock. Outcropping, nice little trap, and uh, pulled some good gold from it already. Water's cold, so my hand is numb, but uh, not bad, not bad at all. The pieces are getting bigger as I go down. I don't know if you can actually see down in there, but it just keeps going and going. It's a nice little hole. Uh, there's a, like a trough here, which needs to be cleaned out too. Um, if I'm only 50 feet in, I can't even begin to imagine uh, how many of these are all over this creek. So I'm going to spend about two more hours here, work my way up in test pan. Five minutes after I did my last video, it's nine o'clock now, I uh, found my first picker and proof positive that it pays to just keep going even though you don't uh, what do you think that it's dying out on you so I did one more and bam so I don't know if I'm going to leave this spot um, again this is going downstream uh, this is going upstream and we're here again I'm uh, not even 50 yards from the entrance <laughs> So I, I don't even know. I haven't even explored anything yet. So uh, let's take a look at that picker again. Um, that makes me happy, especially now that I know there's probably something bigger down there. So we're going to clean it out no matter how long it takes. Later. So I'm trying to shoot some video of it underwater so you can see it. This is a quartz vein that's running on the side, which is really, really nice. Um, and then this is the hole where all the material is, is that I'm digging out. This is the side of the waterfall. Kind of get some of that air bubble out of there. Um, and this is the back end. So we pulled all that material down into here. And this is the material that I'm digging out now. Uh, 
I don't know if you can see that. There's a gold fleck right there in the center, right above the little line. So <laughs> that's that's promising. Um, we'll be here for a while digging. I said it took two hours to clean the hole. It was definitely worth it. You can see all done. Nice little area, nice little catch. Uh, after the big piece kind of petered out on me. But uh, definitely found some sinkers, which I think is funny. <laughs> Alright, so we're, we're going to head upstream. That's downstream. Like I said, came down about 50 yards from down there. Next up, heading up about 10 o'clock. So it took two hours to clean that hole. Alright, later. Uh, bend up from where I was at. Um, if you bear with me for a second, you'll see why I'm uh, creating this video. Somebody was uh, down here cleaning. It's a good place to clean. Bust his ass. As you can see these uh, bedrock outcroppings are amazingly beautiful. They stretch all the way over. Natural waterfalls happening. Waterfalls go all the way up. I mean, I couldn't. Just breathtaking. I didn't even know what to say when I saw it all. So, yeah, it's uh, crazy pretty. There is uh, no one for a very long time. I am definitely out, in, out here by myself. So, uh, see you soon. I came up about a hundred yards from the entrance and I'm in this trough here. Um, I test panned a little bit of it. I actually cleaned a little bit of bedrock this morning. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it, was a little, it was productive. I mean, I had a couple of nice little flex. Uh, I test panned right here. I don't know if you can see it right in here. Uh, nothing, just one little speck. So it was very small. Uh, so I decided, eh, let's, let's go upstream. Uh, these are the waterfalls from yesterday. You'll notice there's this little lip here. It looks like a flipper from a, a pinball game. And there's a, a little trough here, too. I cleaned that out because it goes on a gradient. It actually lifts up higher as we get closer uh, to me, so down in this area. Um, but this flipper I thought was interesting. Material hadn't been moved uh, and I could get my shovel in there. So I started shoveling. Uh, it's petered out now. I've had one, the last pan had nothing in it. So now I'm going to go ahead and move to my, um, my little black scoop. But I want to show you what I pulled out of there. So you can see here. If we can get it to focus. So there's a there's actually a really nice chunk of gold right there. Uh, she's really pretty. She's very big. So uh, I feel kind of lucky. Don't want to laugh at my penny. I uh, lost my other one. How that is even possible, I don't know. But signing off for now. All right, so again, I'm about a hundred yards upstream um, from the uh, entrance. This is that big trough. It's really, really deep right here. So if you come through here, um, make sure you got your pants pulled up. Uh, didn't didn't dig there as I talked about before. Did clean that little bad boy right in there. Did a test pan here, one little fleck. There's the ping pong machine, or not ping pong, but pinball flipper right there that I cleaned out and stopped. This is the spot I covered it up because I'm going to be back here tomorrow. 
Um, in a second, I'm going to show you why I covered that up. Uh, if you're standing right above the trough, this is your view upstream, um, just in case things change uh, for the next time I come back here in a few months. Um, <coughs> I probably was on this 45 minutes, maybe. Uh, not very long at all. I need all of this cleaned. Um, I should spend all day here. This is an inside bend, as you can see. Inside bend. Bam, straight to here. Um, inside bend has proven its worth. This spot has proven its worth. Uh, I've got a nice, several nice pickers and a nugget. Um, so I'm uh, pretty pleased with this spot. Like I said, this is 45 minutes worth of work. So uh, this is me signing off. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, congratulations. This is badass. Later. It's about a quarter till nine. Been here for a good hour and a half cleaning bedrock. Uh, still at the same area I was yesterday. This is day three. As you can see, I've cleared from down there all the way up to the edge. Uh, not bad. A lot of finds. And I got one nice little chunky piece. Um, this bedrock right here is very brittle, so I just took a shovel to it. I'm going to test pan that in a minute. Um, the hole's pretty deep, so I'm just going to keep on going down. Uh, it's a very pretty day out here. Uh, not a whole lot going on. You can see how much I've panned out of the mound that's sitting over here. So, definitely gone through some material. Uh, beautiful day, and this is what we've got so far. So, not bad. Not fantastic yet, but definitely not bad. So, I'm going to keep digging. All right, so uh, here's the hole. I dug it until I could, until I got nothing out of it now. So uh, it is clean. I test panned that, just a couple little flax. There was nothing along the edge, which was kind of weird because it's the way the gold's traveling. Uh, cleaned these bad boys out, as you can see. I also busted up some of this uh, bedrock here, the quartz vein. I don't know if you can see that um, sticking out. Uh, got back in here, there were only a couple flex, so I started getting nervous. Uh, test pan that, just a couple of flex. Uh, went back over here, dug a hole down just to see what would happen. Again, a couple flex. Came up here, there's the tailings pile from all the panning I've done the past three days. Uh, this was the original uh, pinball flipper hole, uh, not bad. He, she's clean. Um, dug in here too. Clean these trenches out. There were just a couple tiny pieces of gold. Nothing spectacular. Uh, and also this tree branch you can see in the water. I test pan that. First pan was nothing. Second pan just a couple flecks. So but the material is really sandy. So my guess is it's way, way down. However far that goes. I didn't feel like trying to figure that out. So, uh, Last pan of the day, ended up looking really nice, and we'll take a look at that. And uh, I'm going to pack up and call it a day. So here we go. Not bad for a day. Not bad for a day's work at all. So nice little pickers in there. Uh, no nuggets, but Georgia is going to, can't be keeping them from me for too long. So sayonara.